Hey guys, it's Sid. Welcome to today's vlog. So, I'm vlogging again today. Oh. So I have a bad hair day. <laughs> Let's start there. I'm so excited for this vlog because I'm starting it out outside of one of my really good friends' apartments. A lot of you, I'm sure, do know who Franny is. Franny is one of my best friends in LA. She's actually one of the first, she was like the first person I met here. And I thought I'd drive from OC to hang out with her for the day. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing because I really like my outfit. What's so weird is both of these things are from Etsy. My top and my necklace. I also have on my jeans from Motel Rocks. Yeah. That's my outfit. Okay, stairs or elevator? Elevator. I never regret taking the elevator. I do regret taking the stairs though, so. Fran? Hi. 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 How are you? There's Mr. Henry. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're so big. Okay guys, look who I'm at lunch with. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, we're trying that again. I'm at lunch with Fran. Um, we're at Nordstrom Cafe. We got three tacos, because we're so hungry. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna split those and then have three total. I left Franny's like 30 minutes ago. On the way home to Orange, I was like, I need to get these shoes. It's a long story. Um, my friend Mia lent me her shoes and then I lost them. But I then found them. At my birthday party, they like got misplaced and then someone stole them and then someone found them. Um, basically this guy and actually has them for me and he put them on his front door. So, I like have to get these shoes though. Like I, if I don't get them right now, I'm, I feel like I'm never gonna get them because I keep losing them. This is sick. Oops, oh my God. Oh my God, finally. I never thought I would see these again. Hi Sid, how are you? I'm good because guess what? I what? just got your shoes. Dude. People forgetting that you even have them. The communal Chanel shoes. Also, the lighting is hitting your skin perfectly. Oh my god, thank you. I was like just about to take off my makeup and get unready, but I was like, you know what? I should do that with you guys. Because it's like, what am I? Like, what kind of YouTuber am I if I don't show me taking off my makeup? This is like a little get unready with me. So, first things first. Taking off my makeup with my cellar water. This is from Garnier. I should also add I'm not even in my own bathroom. I'm so like, sorry. I feel like that's like fake of me. But I'm in my roommate's bathroom because our bathroom is like kind of tiny. And this one's way bigger. I like, I feel like I can keep using these cotton pads and every time like there's always stuff on them. Like I don't think it's ever all off. Like it's endless at this point. I'm kind of over it. it looks good enough, right? Next up, I'm using my face wash. Um, this is the Summer Fridays Super Amino Gel Cleanser. The bottle is so aesthetically pleasing to me because it's glass, so I feel like really fancy using it. on a candle and a mug. <laughs> I feel like this is not gonna go over well. I don't know if you can tell right now, you probably can. My neck and my face are not really the same shade. So I have been using this for about a year now. This is the Eco by Sonia face tan water. This company is actually based in Australia. It's the most natural face tanner. So yeah, I'm gonna mix in a few drops of my face tanner with my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. I 
like to drag the excess down to my neck because your neck is also super important for skincare. The only other thing I would do is use my gua sha, but I lost it. I also don't even know if gua sha's actually work because I haven't really used it for an extended period of time. So you guys should comment below if they are actually legit or not. Don't fear, I'm not gonna pass out. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, I'm getting my ears pierced. I'm with my roommate, Mads. Um, I'm getting my doubles pierced right now, and I'm so excited. That sounded like so like boring. I was like, I'm getting my doubles pierced. She's getting a hole in her ear again. Yeah, again. I got them, my doubles pierced like four months ago, and then I took them out for 24 hours and they closed. I was told to knock it like the gun in your ear, like they do at like Claire's and stuff, which is what I did the first time. So now I'm at an actual piercing salon, which I've never been to. It's kind of intimidating to me for some reason. Learn from me, don't take your earrings out so fast. I pass out sometimes, but not today. That's why I'm here. Um, if I wanted to get my triples pierced eventually, you would recommend like waiting a little. Oh, we could do it today. Okay, maybe should I just get my triples pierced at the same time? Yes. So we found out when I was there that my seconds weren't actually totally closed. So she just had to put my earring in kind of forcefully, so it wasn't too bad. Wow, you it's that's in. Much easier than me. Yeah. Does your ears hurt? Are you proud of me that I haven't passed out? <laughs> I know. This ear's a little different. Um, we all pass out. Actually, I got, I got surgery on it. Yeah, I heard. It. And then I did decide to get my triples pierced, which I had not had pierced before, so this was sort of impulsive for me. And I'm so glad I did it. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it looks super good. Yeah. I love it. Thank Perfect. you. Guys, I got my triples pierced. Oh. It actually didn't even hurt that bad. <gasps> it's crooked. Yeah, I wasn't even planning on getting my triples. The second ones that I got actually weren't totally closed. They were like semi-closed, so she kind of like shoved the earring in. Um, definitely recommend going to a salon versus like Claire's because I've heard that it's better to do this than like getting a gun in your ear, so. 